Order me to buy your kids expensive gifts for Christmas? Okay then. So, my brothers and sisters basically ordered me and my wife to buy their children, our nieces and nephews, expensive gifts for Christmas because, according to them, we were well off, we're not really, we're just financially responsible, but since they asked for it, and it's already on the budget, we decided to be vindictive this year, so, for the most amazing Christmas, our nieces and nephews will each get, five tubs of Play-Doh, which sticks to everything 5 kgs of multicolored kinetic sand, which gets everywhere 5 tubs of gooey slime, see all above 5 packs of easy fill water balloons, age appropriate nerf gun and safety glass. This should be a fun Christmas. Update 1, well, this blew up. Oh man, I should have asked first before I ordered the stuff. You guys have such diabolical ideas. I think this could be the start of a new Christmas tradition, depending if my siblings remain naughty or nice. For those suggesting to Legos, we already gave small boxes of them a few months ago as giveaways for our son's birthday, these should complement them nicely. For those suggesting a drum set or noise makers, I left them out intentionally. It would be a bad idea since my sisters work nights at the hospital. I don't want them to lose sleep during the day and affect their jobs at night when lives are at stake. Sleep is important, you don't mess with it. For those saying that these are not at all expensive, exactly. You demand someone expensive gifts, you get cheap and annoying ones instead. But will the children care? No. They'll think it's the best Christmas ever. My wife told me to buy us a couple of those automatic Nerf guns from the money we saved from the gifts, you know, for protection. Also, we will not be including the water balloons as I was reminded that I do not want a repeat of the great impromptu water balloon fight of 2018, which I may or may not write about, but it would fit snugly in our slash entitled siblings. Also, no glitter, it's too much. Now to the comments. Need something that makes loud noise on that list. My favorite was a fireman's helmet with a siren on it. Good luck. Karaoke machines and instruments are good too. A kid with a harmonica. Loud and flying spit. Ah yes, harmonicas. My dream has been to buy several harmonicas and then secure them to the outside of my car so that when I'm driving my car plays a funky tune, harmonica. Buy stickers online. Look for the ones with terrible reviews because they're not peeling off again. Ones which aren't generic, but are specifically for some Disney-like property which will be all but forgotten in 12 months. Buy everywhere except that one household. Get the ones which glow in the dark and slash or are extremely sparkly. I have seen the abomination that is make your own frozen glitter art stickers on Amazon completely unlicensed and guaranteed to not come off before the wall paint does. Drum sets. Frozen themed recorder. The sing-along microphone that Disney has out, comes in at least three styles, is also really fun. The Play-Doh Barber Shop was awesome for my sister and me, but a nightmare for our parents. If they still make it, I can highly recommend it. All those teeny hair holes collect dried Play-Doh and my mom used toothpicks to clean them out before it became a grandparent's house only toy. LMAO I am almost positive I had one of those at my grandparents' house, along with most of my Play-Doh, which is making me think my parents had a similar thought. My sister tried that once, and only once, on me. I bought my six-year-old nephew a small drum kit. We always spent the night at her house Christmas Eve so after everyone had gone to bed, I snuck out to the car, got the kit and as quietly as I could set it up in his room with a huge bow on it. Come 6 a.m., the entire house was woken up to the most musical thing to hit my ears. The following years, a gift card was fine lol. That's so evil. I love it. Yeah, 
my sister almost learned her lesson that year, the next year she tried to dictate what I got him but I just said if she kept it up, it'd be an accordion, I'd introduced him to the musical styling of Weird Al by that point. Oh boy, they'll love yellies. It's a toy spider that goes faster the louder you shout, no need to give them a loud toy, give a toy that only works when you're loud. Who the duck would invent something like this? Someone that hates other children's parents. Drum sets and guitars are the best for starting those family bands. Even a flute or harmonica work well if you want a little country or blues flair. A ducking tin whistle or recorder would be the worst. Okay. Hear me out. Otomaton. It's this weird Japanese musical instrument that makes a horrific noise, and you can never got a decent note out of one, especially if you're a child. It also comes with an octave switch, so you set it to sound like a dying toad, screaming child, or dog whistle. Not sure how loud the bass model is but my deluxe one can get to insane volume super easily. The volume knob on the back is so sensitive, you have to get it at the perfect spot to have it at a tolerable volume without it being insanely quiet. Shit will drive parents crazy, trust me. My ex's kid once had one of those ride-along cars you sit in and goes about two miles a day, but it had flashing strobe lights and loudly, as in louder than a surround sound at full blast, would play the Spongebob theme. But you had to hold down the button to make it play all the way through. So if you're ten houses away all you see and hear is an epileptics version of the Antichrist. Anything that restarts the recording with each push is a torture device when in the hands of a toddler. No glitter. One of those singing cards that doesn't stop singing and if you tear it up glitter falls out. I'm going to look for this. 1. Buy one of those toy fire trucks with a bunch of buttons that make different loud fire truck noises. 2. Replace the cheap batteries with Energizer Lithium Ion 10 year batteries. 3. The battery compartments for these things always have a tiny screw to hold it closed. Put a glob of red lock light on the screw, screw it and then strip the screw with a drill. Holy shit, you're a monster. Uh. Sir slash ma'am, I am very sorry about my slight corrective side note on your previous point. The batteries will last as long as you tell them to last. I apologize for doubting you. Please don't hurt me. You forgot the Vuvuzela. May I recommend glitter? It gets everywhere. All wrapped in glitter coated wrapping paper dang stuff near explodes when it's ripped off by an excited kid, guess how I found that out, warning. Do the wrapping outside and not inside your house. Put the parcels inside shopping bags and do not remove before getting there. As a parent, I love kinetic sand. It is super easy to clean up. Instead, buy them lots of silly putty. I have banned that shit in my house because it gets everywhere and is nearly impossible to clean up. Can confirm. Silly putty destroyed a cat in a living room rug. I came home one day to the cat literally stuck to the rug. I couldn't figure out what the mess was until my roommate came home and saw me cutting this glop out of the cat's rear end. He identified the sticky crap as his glow-in-the-dark silly putty. Cat and I were not amused. Roommate and I were both mid-twenties at the time. I hate silly putty. That poor cat.